Hello, Matt Fies. Today we are going to look into the concept of probability. Yesterday I was watching Chelsea and the West Ham, and I thought Chelsea is going to win the match. But to my greatest surprise, West Ham won the match. This is a clear example or real life application of probability. Probability is a measure of likelihood of an outcome or occurrence. I call it a game of chance. And when you are talking about probability, being a game of chance, it simply means anything can happen. It is a measure of what? Uncertainty and the certainty. And its formula is number of possible or expected outcome all over number of total outcomes. All right. Take, for instance, in a bag, I'm having six balls. And I'm having two blue balls and four red balls. If I dip my hand inside the bag, I can get either blue or red. But if what I have in mind is to get a blue ball, would that be possible? Probability have come to play. Now, it is possible for me to pick that ball, and it's also possible for me not to pick the ball. Hence, for me to find the probability of me picking the ball is going to be number of expected outcome or possible outcome, which is these two. All of the total outcome the balls we have, which will be two all over six. When I divide further, I will have three, hence one over three. So it's one out of three chances. But come to this red, I have more chances of picking this red ball, more than two. But that doesn't mean that when I dip my hand inside the bag, that I'm going to get red. I may also get blue. This is a clear example of what happened yesterday between West Ham and Chelsea. Everybody thought that Chelsea is going to win. But West Ham, they won. Okay, now let me give an algebraic representation of this very thing. Like, for instance, we have, uh, we have two blue balls and four red balls. And you know... That the probability of me picking a blue ball is equal to 2 all over 6. That is P of blue ball. Then P of red ball will be equal to 4 all over 6. Now let me represent each of these with X and Y. I'm going to have X plus Y will be giving me equal to N, where N is equal to 1. And... Uh, in this algebraic term now, I can choose to, to divide both sides by with n. I'm having n here, and I'm as well having n here, having n here also. You can see that this will be make me to have x all over n plus y all over n will be giving me 1. Now, looking at this, when I'm sure that the probability of me picking blue ball is 100%. It means that this P probability of picking a blue ball will be equal to 1 or will be equal to N. Hence, take for instance, we are pick going on this X all over what? N. And I told you that it is going to be equal to what? 1 or this word N is going to be N all over N, which will be giving me 1. But if I'm very, very sure that I'm not going to pick blue ball, I'm sure that I'm not going to pick blue ball, my x will now be equal to 0. Hence, I will have 0 all over n equal to 0. This is mathematical proof and also giving you the proof in real application. Expect more videos on this probability, especially on mutually exclusive and mutually non-exclusive together with dependent and independent events. Thank you.